What is the source of fear? In the West, we often seek meaning and validation through personal achievements, career success, or online presence. But this can lead to feelings of isolation and alienation. Ernest Becker said in The Denial of Death that the fact is that this is what society is and always has been. A symbolic action system, a structure of statuses and roles, customs, and rules for behavior designed to serve as a vehicle for earthly heroism. What Becker means by heroism here is becoming the main character in in one's life, not being an an NPC. We We fear failure and insignificance. We want to matter. We want meaning, something greater than myself to live for. Humanity has been wrestling with this question for centuries. The clever answer we came up with is religion. However, for the younger generations, the scientific discoveries, the concept of progress, this has all made it, made it harder for us to follow the traditions of the past. Can we accept death? I think many societies have done so. However, these societies either live in the past or in less developed parts of the world. And it's funny how accepting death and development have an inverse relationship. And so by a, by less developed, I mean they have less technology, less of an advanced economic system to allocate resources. These technological systems that have been developed so far, speaking as somebody in the, in the US in 2024, try to gain control over nature in a way. We have medicine to, to cure us when we are ill. We have social media to talk to people who are far away and get a grip with the cultural flows and ebbs and ebbs on a more macro scale than just our community. These innovations give us a semblance of control over nature. The pressure to constantly prove our worth and the lack of a unifying cultural narrative can exacerbate our existential fears. Meanwhile, in other parts of the world, Traditional values and communal bonds provide a sense of belonging and purpose that many in the West find lacking. This difference highlights the varying ways that humans cope with the fear of insignificance and the quest for meaning. We believe that we are special, that we have something to offer the world. We also live in social circles that are either big or small. Here I'm going to give you two examples. The 17th century French peasant who lives in a village, and the 21st century Zoomer, who lives in a city and on the internet. When the 17th century villager tries to offer something to his world, and his world is the village, he's going to help the neighborhood out. He's going to try to teach some things to to the neighborhood kids, help a neighbor with some project, help a farmer do something. However, the 21st century Zoomer doesn't feel significance through those things. He wants to offer something to the internet. It's hard to offer something to the community here in the city. People don't feel connected viscerally other than with friends and family members. However, now let's imagine a Gen Z person in Karachi who might be poor but has a feeling of cultural attachment to the people that are around him because of the shared values, the shared religion, the shared reality. Now, I'm not saying that we should convert to Islam. I'm not saying that at all. However, these two examples, the 17th century peasant and the 21st century Zoomer, have the same drivers, they have the same DNA, but their environment shapes their their outcomes to be uh, to just be different ultimately the source of fear lies in our deep-seated desire for significance and the challenge of finding it in a world that often seems indifferent to our individual existence whether through religion community or personal achievement 
Our quest for meaning is a fundamental aspect of the human condition.